Hey, this is Scott with RV Bonsai. In this video, I'll be going over modification I did with this Sony ECM CS3 stereo lapel microphone. I bought some windscreens for it. Turns out they're too small, so I'm going to put one on each end of the microphone. But I do think that'll probably work pretty well. So here are the windscreens. They're called eBoot. It was a five pack of these you know, little windscreens that look like little animals. But quality wise, they're pretty decent. See, nice black color, indescript, so I'm trying to get to the hole there. It does have a rubber band. It's very tight, works, I think, the nice clamping force to it. So I could probably get away with not doing this modification. I'm actually going to sew the two windscreens while they're on the lapel mic so they won't easily fall off. See, I'm attaching one to the microphone. Works pretty well, but like I said, I'd rather have them attached firmly to the microphone so there aren't any accidents of them falling off when we're recording. So I have the clamp on one end, and I have the area that I'm going to sew back and forth, that front area, and that should hold them together. This thread here I have is very thick. It is the thickest one that I have on hand, nice and strong. So in this case, I loop the back end and I make a knot. Pretty simple process. You just double it up and then loop it a few times to make the knot larger. So maybe five times or so you'll get a nice large knot on the end. Use the other end through the sewing needle. Pretty simple process. So with the other end, just cut it off to make sure it's nice and pointy. Uh, in this case, you can use something to help you get the thread through the needle. But this thread is very thick and anything that helps would just make it impossible to get through that specific needle that I'm using. It's not too challenging if you have some experience with it. And this thread is thick enough that it wasn't too difficult. So in this case, I'm going to start going through the microphone. I'm holding the microphone on both ends to make sure that they don't come off while I'm sewing it. Because, you know, there's extra force involved and could easily pull them off with the needle or thread or something. And this is very important. You want to sew once through and then put the needle back through that end that it came out of. Otherwise, you're going to get the thread looping over the windscreens. You don't want that. It'll look bad. And also pull down the windscreen part, which is what deadens that sound you don't want. So you definitely don't want to pull down part of the windscreen. So I clipped some of this, but I'm almost done here with this one. Pretty simple process. I think the friction will keep the thread, for the most part, holding everything together. I didn't knot anything at the end. I just cut the needle off. So that's pretty much it for this modification. As you can see, it looks pretty good. There's the clamp. Still use it. I'm tugging on the two windscreens, and they're not coming off, which is great. I do think it'll work out as I intend. Also going to cut off this little loop here which was from the opposite end of the thread just for looks reasons. I am also going to test this out with the windscreens and also same type of microphone without the windscreens to see if there's really any difference. Only negative here is that the clamp can't rotate as it used to but I don't think it'll be a huge issue in that case. So now let's get to the test. So I'm going to use this recorder here. It's a Lumpus. WS852 to record the two lapel mics. Here's the one without the windscreens. Chris just has a mic port on it. Power it up. Just gonna attach it right around here. So hit record. See the levels on the screen says that I'm recording audio. Just talk a little bit to make sure that it has enough audio for the test. Also going to blow on the microphone to make sure that some more extreme situations, if there's a difference or not. Also going to touch the microphone, which is the most extreme case. Here's one with the windscreens that I modified to make sure they do not fall off. So I'm going to record a little bit of the audio to make sure that I have enough for this test. I'm going to blow on it as I did in the first part to try that out. I'm also going to touch it as I also did in the first one to make sure that most extreme case is different or not. I'm 
So anyways, that was it for this modification and test of the microphone with the windscreen and no windscreen. Also with the modification to make sure these two little guys don't fall off accidentally. So hopefully it all works out as I'm planning or hoping it works. I've really got these for this podcast that I'll at least put a link into. So that's pretty much it for this video. I uh, hope you find it interesting. I'm Scott from Photography Bonsai. Thanks.